the drums of war thunder once again. Hey, this is Dello. Welcome back to another quick multiboxing video. Today we are looking at using VFX to show a map of one of your slaves on your main window. Pr pretty much for professions. If you want to do um, mining and you want to show the veins in a, a mini map from your slave, but you want it to be on your, your master, then you need to set up VFX and go through the process of sharing the mini map onto your main screen. Okay, so to set up VFX, when you're running IS Boxer, you go through your wizard and you go through all the steps. Uh, so this to World of Warcraft. I'm just going to do this very quickly, not really set it properly. Put a couple of characters in just to move on. Uh, we'll test. You get all the way up to here, and all you need to do is have video effects set to true when you get to your layout. Um, if you already have this set up, I'm pretty sure you can manually go into the layout settings and turn on vi video effects that way. Um, but I generally set it when I'm creating the character set for my team. Okay, so once that's on, you have it set up, close this, you're back in the game, you're running. Okay, so now you'll be able to use the video effects in your IS Boxer setup, which is this, without getting all the windows pixelated because you don't have video effects turned on in IS Boxer. Okay, so the one I prepared earlier, this is a slave, uh, this is coming from this one, the priest, and I have fine minerals turned on. So you can see copper vein. So this section here is what I've selected to, to broadcast. And if I go back to my main, it's broadcasted right here, and you can see, you can't obviously put your mouse over and interact with it the way I have it set up, but you can see it, and you can see there's a mineral just there that needs to go be mined. Okay, so let's quickly set this up. Now, bear with me, because I'm just learning this myself. We go into IS Boxer Control Panel. Now, this, what we're using here, is going to be the viewer. So this is the window we want to view because it's the prime. We want to view the other person's window because it's the primary. So we're gonna for this one we'll do Barrows. We'll do his um, mini map. Okay. So you go in here and we'll call it Barrows map. So this is the one we want. I'm gonna add that in. So now we now have a viewer called Barrows map. We'll just chuck it here and we'll save it as Barrow's map save as apply so that's there so we can't see anything yet because we don't have a source so now we want to go to the window that we want our source to be from which is the Barrow's window and again we want to open up the control panel this time for this window back to video effects and this time we want to change this to a source we want it to match exactly the video effects name we just made. So that was Barrow's map. It has to match or it won't work. Okay. So we have this set up. Apply. So here we go. So we want the source. We've got our little source green window. We're quickly going to cover this over the, uh, the mini map. So just extend it out. So now that's covering the mini map. Apply. Sync. So, so we're gonna no, we're just gonna apply it. We're not gonna sync. Why is that apply changing? Ah, okay. So you can set the pixels here. So whatever pixels you hit, you type in here and then hit apply. It'll change the window to the size. So you can set the size of the window through this, or you can just drag. So sync is what you want. Close. Okay. And so barrels map. Save as. Okay, there we go. We now have the map from Barrow, so I'll show you that it's working. Let's go outside the cave. So now we should have an all green, and boom. It's now showing on my primary window outside. You can see his mini map because he's gone outside. It's all green. So let's, let's make it look a bit prettier. You want to get the size pretty much matching what you're broadcasting. You can do it way bigger, right? Have a look at this. Make it huge. 
and you got this huge mini map from your guy in the screen. But no, we, you want it about the same size, or you want it tucked away, so even smaller potentially. So you want to hide this on the screen somewhere up here. Beautiful. We've got the priests mini map, and we've got one of the mages mini maps. So this guy could be the herbalist. So you could set him to find herbs, have find all that. Takes up real estate on your screen. It's one thing I don't like about it, but it can be quite handy, especially when leveling and you know getting your mining up and getting some materials. Okay, so that's about it. If that helps you, please like, subscribe, share the video. More coming. That's two videos today, so we might have a couple more tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, thanks for that. Bye for now. I'm Dello. See you later.